Hello everyone, Vanguard of Valor here, and welcome back to another episode of FTL. Yes, we are back on board the VSS Sloth with Slowpoke, Laggard, Lombard, and Declan, where we are trying our Engine Failure Challenge Run. Yes, indeed, we are trying to make it from here to the end of the galaxy with only one power bar in our engines, which is most likely going to cause us all kinds of trouble later on. But for now, we're looking pretty solid. We've got a bunch of Mantis here to give us that boarding party edge. We have got ourselves a weapon, which means we're not completely useless in combat. And we have a variety of nice shields and some drones. We've also found ourselves a hull repair drone, giving us the power to repair ourselves on the fly if need be. And hopefully, that will help us get through. So, let's keep moving here and see... Ooh, distress beacons. See what we can do here in the NG-controlled sector. What do we have here at our first jump? Hopefully something good. Ah, we find a number of ships fleeing from a small space station. We hail them asking what's wrong, and we find out that they're being overrun by some sort of giant alien spiders. Now, we can launch a boarding drone into the station, which they're not going to like very much, but we're going to do it anyway. We launch it in, and as the drone crashes through their hull, leaving a huge breach, we watch as it tears through the creatures while debris and dead bodies fly out. The owners of the station are less than effusive when they thank you and offer only a meager payment. Maybe it's a good time to leave. If you have an anti-personnel drone, it goes in there and does the job a lot cleaner, but we don't have one of those. So we'll use what we got, and they're not too happy with us for doing it that way anyway. But that's okay, we still got a reward. Let's keep moving and see if we can't make any more progress out here. <laughs> more free stuff, what do you know? We find an abandoned mining station on a nearby moon. A quick scan shows no life forms, however we quickly discover a usable drone schematic. Getting 19 scrap and a system repair drone. Nice. A system repair drone might be a really nice complement instead of the boarding drone because that would give us the ability to actually repair things without having to run over to them. So our Zoltan really can't leave the helm reasonably. And, uh, yeah, Mantis are not the best repair people. But we'll see how it goes. So let's keep jumping to this distress beacon and see if we can't get anything there. What is over here? Ah. The distress signal is coming from a small space station orbiting an uninhabited planet. Their satellite defenses have gone haywire and their repair crew obviously can't approach it, so they want help. Well, we don't really have a lot of firepower, but we're going to try to destroy the defense system from a distance anyway. We fire a few volleys from a distance, and it's clear the defense system is no match for our weapon. Not weapons, weapon. <laughs> However, the station doesn't seem happy with our solution, so we salvage what we can, being two missiles, a drone part, and 18 scrap, and run away. Too bad we don't have anything for blue options there, but you know what, we'll take what we get. Now, what are we going to upgrade next? herm de herm Yeah, do we want to keep the boarding drone or swap it out for the system repair? I think system repair might be better in the long run. Boarding drones are pretty fun, though. I don't know. I don't know. We'll swap out the system repair for now, and if I change my mind... This means we can use both of these simultaneously, though, which is also quite nice. Um, I don't even know what we want to upgrade next. Let's just keep jumping. Another distress beacon. Wow, they're just throwing these at us. What do we have over here? I like these, like, pale backgrounds. We arrive at a smoldering NG research station. It's distress call unanswered, attacked by pirates or mantis, most likely. There may be someone left alive, or something else of value left on board. Well, we're going to use our improved sensors to take another scan. Scans reveal the station's reactor is overloading. Not only that, but an injured NG and a functioning drone schematic are still on board. There's not time for both. Well, we could really use an NG on board, and we don't need our system repair drone quite as much, so we're going to save that NG. Yes, indeed. Our away team heads straight for the NG and returns with time to spare. We put some distance on the station before it blows, and our NG is so impressed by our crew they volunteer to join us. We also get 20 scrap. Awesome, Mort. Welcome aboard. You're going to go chill out in our shields, I think. Maybe our weapons, maybe our dodge, but for now we're going to stick you on shields. We'll see how it goes. I'll probably move them around in a minute. But we're going to put our boarding drone back on now, because we have a NG. We don't really need a system repair drone anymore. We have 128 scrap. What do we want to spend it on? That is the question. I'm not really sure where we're going to put Mort, but we'll figure it out. Alright, well, we're out of Distress Beacons to immediately jump to, so we're going to have to jump somewhere else, which is fine by me. What do we have over here? Another nothing. Oh, no, teleporter. Ah, yes, this is it. We arrive just in time to see an unusually well-armed NG ship destroying a small pirate craft. A teleporter signal is detected, and they have an intruder on deck. Well, a young mantis in a charred uniform is teleported on board and begs for sanctuary from the NG, offering to serve in exchange for our protection. The NG have already traced the teleporter signal and are offering a deal in exchange for the prisoner. Well, a fourth mantis would be fantastic. So we're definitely going to side with the fugitive in this case, because we don't really need money and we do need a fourth mantis for our awesome boarding party of doom. So we side with the fugitive. It was a trap! The mantis sabotages our ship before teleporting away. We're sitting ducks! Ah, well. Sometimes you gotta take them risks. So they have two mantis on there, we can teleport three mantis on board, I'm not really worried. I'm gonna jump in there, it's too bad we took some damage there, but there's nothing we can really do about that. 
They can't really hurt us. It's going to take them five shots from that Ion Blast before the Mini Beam can hit us. Which they might be able to manage, but we're probably going to murder all the crew before that can happen. Yes, indeed. With the crew dead, we're able to take four fuel out of storage, and we also get 34 scrap. Not bad. Not bad. Teleport back on board. I think one of our crew just leveled up to max. Yes, Laggard is now a max skill combat fighter. I think that, or Slowpoke who leveled up to level one. I'm not sure which one that was, but that's okay. Too bad we didn't get another Mantis, because that would have been lovely. But we'll take what we can get, I suppose. Alright, get them back down there, ready to jump again. We could buy ourselves some free repairs, but for now I think we'll hold off. I'm sure there'll be a bunch of stores in here, because it is an NG-controlled sector. We'll see what we can do. A Mantis engaging a civilian ship hails us. Sparks fly about his cockpit as he yells, Stay out of this, human, or you are next! Eh, I'm okay with that. We're gonna help those civilians. Here we go. Ooh, they have a lot of people. We frown, power up the weapons, and prepare to engage the Mantis. They're gonna be boarding us in a second, so we'll stay here and fight them. We're gonna be taking power out of our teleporter first to power up our defense drone to block their missile, because that's a breach missile, too. Wow. If we can stop that from firing at all, we'll be very well off. Well, we can't stop it from firing, but if we can block it from hitting us, we'll be very well off. It'll have a nice long charge time, and hopefully, we won't be able to get past their drone. There we go. Kill them back into the med bay, then we'll board over and kill the two who are still on board their ship. That missile should be firing any second now. We're going to shoot a little hull laser at their weapons to see if that breaks. No, nope, did not get a chance to break the missile. Here it comes. Please shoot it down there, drone. Yes, thank you. All right, into the teleporter, and we're going to be boarding. So, we are going into their weapons room. Come fight us. Oh, they do have a med bay. That's going to be a bit problematic. We're going to have to hull laser out the med bay right now. Otherwise, we're in a lot of trouble. Go, go. Please break it. Yes, it has a hull breach in it, too, which means they're not fixing it anytime soon. And those guys are dead. Fantastic. There are no more life signs detected on the pirate ship, but we do manage to gather three fuel, a missile, and 39 scrap before contacting the civilians. When we contact them, they say that the sector has become increasingly dangerous for friends of the Federation, and they patch up some of our hull damage. Well, that's nice of them. We're also already up to 200 scrap, which means we might just go straight to level 4 shields, which is really silly, but we're going to do it anyway, I think. Alright, there's no reason to go straight to level 4 shields, but whatever. Alright, get back in there, gentlemen. Mort is going to go into the medbay and heal himself up as well, and then we should be good to go. Yeah, we can actually afford level 4 shields in sector, what, 3? That's ridiculous. I never ever buy that, but that's, I normally spend about 175 scrap on my engines, so I guess that's fair. And we have very little weapon power at the moment, too. Still, though, that's a bit silly. Alright, where are we going next? Then we'll work our way around this way to the exit. Sounds like a good strategy to me. What do we have over here? We over here Mantis Comb Chatter. Agreed. Next ship is your turn. Good hunting. They don't see us yet, but they're gonna see us in a second, because we're gonna attack them. Here we go. They're gonna be boarding us again. Two more Mantis coming on board. Where are you going? Into our oxygen. Okay, that means we can only send two Mantis in to fight them, unfortunately. But that's okay. We'll send our crew in there, and they should beat them up pretty well. These guys are a little bit more dangerous, but they... St oh, they, have oh, they are a little bit more dangerous. Yes, they are. Heavy Laser Mark II, Dual Laser. They actually have a potential to get through our shields here if they fire those in sync. Hopefully they won't, but it's possible. We're also going to quickly swap out one of our Mantises here. Swap him out and him in. There we go. Now they're going to be actually alive. Hopefully that bomb doesn't hit anywhere important. It, ah, it just hit out our radar. That's okay. So, we have killed off their crew. We're going to get back on board our teleporter, heal everyone up to full, and then jump onto their ship and kill them in the face. Yes, I did say kill them in the face for whatever reason. And hit them in the med bay. It has two layers in it. That's not good. All right, then we're going to jump in and start fighting these guys, hopefully before they can get in there and try and fix the repair bay. And we're going to try and hull laser them again so they can't go in there and heal immediately, which they're going to try and do at first opportunity. There we go. So please break that med bay. Please, please break it before the NG can hit it. And we just lost our engines. There we go. It's broken. Awesome. Jump in there. Stop them from fixing it. Now they're going to die. There's nothing they can do about it. We should be okay. We did take a little hit there, but we should be fine. Excellent. And we find a free weapon on their ship. With no crew to stop us, we install a hull missile on our own ship. We also gather 27 scrap from the wreckage. Well, awesome. That worked out pretty well. I'm not sure if we'll be using hull missiles, but it's not bad. For two, uh, two power, you can use a pretty decent missile. Up to four damage in systemless rooms. It'll be good for killing things like drones and whatnot. I'm not sure if we'll really be going for that, though. The hull laser doesn't require missiles, making it infinitely better. <laughs> it doesn't get blocked by defense drones. But it's still a pretty good option. Alright, we have 228 scrap on hand. I should really spend some of this, but I'm probably not going to because I'm silly. Alright, what do we find over here? Hopefully something good! We stumble across a forward scout of the rebel fleet. Alright then, 
They're powering up the FTL drive, and if they get away, they'll no doubt warn the fleet of our position. But we can't have that now, can we? But they have a bunch of things. Their weapons are pretty much irrelevant, because they have so many drones. So what we're going to be doing here, I think, is... We might actually try the missile. Sure. Let's try the missile. We can't get through their shields with the hull laser, so we're going to go for the missile here to try and blast them in the med bay. And we are going to... Teleport all of our crew on there, I think. If we have to, I think what we'll do... Can I... If I... Hmm... I might also fire a boarding drone at them. That's probably a good idea. So we're going to power off our med bay for now and our oxygen. <laughs> so we can fire a boarding drone and teleport into the shields. All right, guys. Get over here. Oh, that's not exactly what I wanted to have happen. He's staying in the helm because that's where he landed. That's a little bit unfortunate. We need to missile out that medbay too, pronto, otherwise we are going to get forced out of this fight, which is not ideal. Thankfully their FTL is delayed and we're going to hit them with a missile in the medbay. There we go, the medbay is now broken, but we are also dying. Also dying, which is not good. We're going to have to... Can we even fight these guys right now? I'm not sure if we can. We're going to teleport off the ship. <coughs> there we go. Turn down one layer of our shield, jump them into the med bay quickly with that power bar. Our drone should keep harassing them in the uh, helm, which should prevent them from going in there too quickly. And then we should be able to jump back on board and attack them again momentarily. We also have another missile to come in there and knock out their med bay again. And they're charging up again, so we gotta get in there quick. Okay, so we're gonna haul missile them in the med bay. Please hit. Yes, it hit. And we're gonna teleport into the med bay. Perfect. Now, you need to get out of there, so you're going to follow me into the shields. Perfect, because if he stays in the helm, they're going to get away, and we're not going to be able to kill them. This way, though, they're not going anywhere. And down goes the crew trying to fix the med bay, and down goes the other guy. And our drone dies at exactly almost the same time as their, their crew dies. The ship goes silent, and we're relieved to know that we're still one step ahead of the fleet, getting a fuel, a missile, and 25 scrap, which is not a great reward, but we'll take it. And we'll jump back on board our own ship. We're also going to turn the oxygen back on before we suffocate, because we are down to 36% oxygen. <clears throat> yep, taking risks for no reason. Oh yeah. All right, now. <clears throat> do we take the upgraded shields? It's only 180 scrap, which means we can definitely afford it, which would probably be hilarious. <laughs> sure. Definitely not a good strategic decision, but we're doing it anyway, because why not? We have the opportunity, <clears throat> so we better take advantage of it. All right. Now where are we going to go? We hardly have enough time to go all four of those jumps and then get out, so we'll give it a shot and see where we can go. What is over at this beacon? An unidentified pirate ship is... No, an unidentified ship is being badly damaged and being assaulted by a space pirate. The victim begins a distress message and man, and, uh, blah, 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 until the pirate cuts in and offers to split the bounty if we sit tight. I don't want to split no bounty with no pirates. I want the whole bounty. Or be a hero and attack that pirate. Oh, come on. They got no combat classes. Are they really going to send an NG or a Zoltan over to fight me? The pirate ship stops pursuit and locks weapons. They're sending a Zoltan. He is going to be so dead. This is going to be great. All right, Mantis, get over there at Mach 50, because you have Mantis pheromones and your high movement speed, and murder those suckers. They thought they could come in here on our ship and take us out? Think again, fools. We have level 4 shields as well, so that PD basic laser is not going to do a darn thing to us. All right, get back in that med bay, heal yourselves up, jump on the enemy ship, and kick them in the teeth. They've also ion, blasted, ion bombed rather an empty room, so that's not going to be doing anything to us teleport into weapons. They've only got NG on board and there's no med bay. These are going to be some dead NG very soon. Murder them, mantises. Oh, yay. Gotta love me, the mantis murder force. We're not full, up to full powered mantis murder force. We only have three, but we'll take what we can get. The pirates are dead, leaving their ship dead in space. We get a missile the drone pirate and 30 scrap before contacting their prey. And we find, oh wow, they thank the heavens we showed up. They say they don't have much to offer as reward, but their engineer fills us back to full health after that fight. That's a pretty nice reward, actually. Alright, jump these guys back on board. Get them all healed up. Looking good there, gentlemen. Looking good. We might try to upgrade our weapons shortly so we can use our laser and our hull missile, but for the time being, we might as well stick with just one of those. Because that's really all we need if we're doing mostly boarding. Should really heal more, too. He's quite injured. More free goodies! Yay! When we ask a nearby station for aid, a friendly programmer gives us the schematics for a drone. We get 14 scrap and anti-ship drone mark 1. Definitely can't complain about that. Alright, more. You're going to go in the med bay and heal yourself up before you wind up dead. Declan still has full health as well, despite only having 70 health. Silly low health assault him. Actually, I should probably switch Declan. What am I doing? I should probably switch Mort with Declan. But that way he can provide free power. I should have been doing that earlier. 
I won't have that mobile repair quite as easy, but I will have that extra power bar for free. Yeah. <laughs> Definitely should have been doing that earlier. Okay. What are we getting next? Maybe maybe weapons? It does cost exactly 60 for level 2 weapons, which is really not very expensive. Eh. Yeah, okay. I'll buy that. We might not use it, but now we have the opportunity if we want to have both of our weapons active. Also, both of our weapons are hull weapons. That's weird. There's a store here. We have enough time to go one, two, maybe three jumps? Maybe. It'll be a close call, though, if it is. Let's see. I think, because if, hang on, if it's about that far to there, the next one would be about that far, and the next one... I think it does go over the middle of the line. It's really close, though. Well, there's no point to go to the store, though. So what we'll do is we'll jump here, and if we can jump straight to the exit, that'd be good. There's no point to go to the store, because we have literally no money. There's a single ship at this beacon. They hail us, saying that they could really use some help, because their FTL navigation is shot, and they need to figure out how to get to a nearby station to be patched up. It's literally right beside you guys. We accept their offer anyway for a single fuel, which is a terrible reward, but that's okay. And they say they'll be one step behind us, following our jump signatures. Now these are a Federation bomber, so they better be good guys. If they're actually trying to betray us, well, they will be hell to pay, I'm sure. We cannot jump straight to the exit, so we're probably going to have to fight some people on the way out. But that's fine. We jump here to the exit, where an NG ship hails, saying there's an engine upgrade necessary for traveling home. They offer to sell, the, sell some of their equipment in order to get that upgrade. They offer a cloak, but we of course just bought a whole bunch of stuff, so we can't afford it. They have some nice weapons as well, but we just bought a bunch of stuff, so we can't afford it. But we will sell them an anti-ship drone. We're probably not going to sell... Eh, maybe we'll sell the system repair drone? I guess. We do have an NG now. I guess we can afford to sell the system repair drone. It's a good thing. I don't know if it's better. That's the thing, though. Is it better than the boarding drone? I don't really know if it is. The boarding drone is really good for dealing with things now, because we only have three mantises, though. So I guess we'll sell that later. And we can't really afford to buy the cloaking or any of these weapons, but no matter what we do. So we will buy ourselves some fuel and be on our merry way, I guess. Okay. And yes, we have to fight people at the exit, but that's probably going to be fine. <laughs> probably, hopefully, maybe. What do we have here? We found the exit beacon, but the rebels got here first. We'll have to survive long enough to jump to the next sector, and that shouldn't be too much of a problem, because they did just try and board us with some of their crew already. So we're going to send Slowpoke and Lombard to go murder that fool. Oh, we went into our med bay. That means he gets to die extra fast. and doesn't even cost us anything. So they can't hurt us here unless the bomb hits something important, because these two heavy lasers and the halberd beam can't do a thing to our level 4 shields, which is great. And that bomb probably won't be too dangerous unless it hits us in the shields. What do you know? All right, then, so... Mort, you're going to go fix that. You don't even have to worry about dodging right now. Just get in there and fix that thing. Actually, Declan's going to get in there quick. Yeah, we dodged one of their attacks, which means their uh, halberd beam is still not dangerous to us. We could jump on board their ship, but that means that we're not going to be able to kill them because of that thing. But we're going to try anyway. We're going to jump in here and punch these guys, this guy in the shield room a little bit. Maybe we can kill him before he can get out because this is quite a large room and he is in the corner. No, he made it away safely, so we're going to rush him in the med bay. See if we can't kill him. Yeah, we got him before he got fully healed. Rush back in there and keep killing him. We're going to send more... Oh, the bomb, right. Since they didn't have anyone in the helm, the bomb hit, the bomb hit us with 100% accuracy. And now we're going to rush with Slowpoke and Laggard into the medbay and see if we can't kill him there before he heals. They probably have a really high level medbay, but it looks like we're actually winning the fight. Yes, we did. They hit us in the drone control, but we did kill them and get a free fuel out of it. Eh, well. That's okay, we're going to teleport back on board our ship, but first we'll get them all in the same room, so we can do it all in one go. Not that it really matters. And there we are. So we're going to get these guys to fix... You guys can go fix up the oxygen, you guys can go fix up the drone control. There we go. We took no actual hull damage in that fight at all, which is awesome. Gotta love taking zero effective damage. Alright, we will send Mort into the helm, and Declan into the engines. Our engines are currently entirely powered by Zoltan. Excellent. Is anyone here injured? No, they're doing fine. It's just our boarding party. Slowpoke and Lagger took a little bit of damage, so we'll run them into the med bay and heal them up. Looking good, gentlemen. Looking good. All right. Back into the teleporter, and we are good to go. Now, let's jump out of this place. We have two options, an uncharted nebula or a pirate-controlled sector. Well, pirate-controlled sector looks pretty promising to me. We have a lot of green options over here, though, which means you might get stuck into a Zoltan sector, but we'll see what we can do. We'll jump down to this power-controlled sector and hope for the best. And it's a nebula! Yay! This somewhat isolated region was thrown into chaos at the start of the rebellion. Even in peacetime, it was always beset by pirates, but now it houses a center of operations for countless pirate fleets. Well, it sounds like just where we want to be, then. Right in the middle of all the pirates. 
There's a store over there. We have no money, though, so we're not going to worry about that. We're going to jump to this quest, this nebula beacon, and then we'll jump out of here and move around over there. What have we got over here? Hopefully not an ion storm. Nope, we're good. And there's nothing. Oh, there's borders here. We see a small station nearby and feel the shudder of shots ringing through the ship. We can't be sure without sensors, but it seems there may be intruders on board. And they're in our weapon room, so let's rush them. Get in there, boys. There's four of them. That's okay. We can tank them out pretty easily with our mantises. We're going to send more in as well to give them some covering fire from this fourth person, taking away their one-person advantage, meaning we should crush them pretty well. Although it looks like uh, Slowpoke's actually losing this fight over here, which is fairly unusual. There we go. He's down. And Mort is going to... Oh, nice. Did you get a kill there, Mort? No, you did not. These mantis are pretty darn powerful, I gotta say. Send these guys into the med bay. There's only room for three, of course, so we'll send Lombard to sit and wait until the space clears up, and then they will be able to go join him in battle. So we'll send Laggard out and Lombard in. We'll send Mort back to the helm, Slowpoke down below, and Lombard down below as well. There we go. That's a not bad event. It gives you a bit of combat experience, but I mean, it doesn't really give you any money or anything, which is a little bit disappointing. Yeah, Quest Beacon over here, rather Distress Beacon. We might go down one and then over this way, because it's always nice to be on that part of the map. So we'll go down to this one on the left, and then we'll work our way towards the right-hand side. Ooh, I like that background, too. It's not one I see all the time. Upon completing our jump, we receive a message from a nearby ship saying, Greetings, and welcome to our beacon. For a small fee, we'll let you continue on your way. Well, we're not going to be paying any fee. We don't have the money for it anyway, so we reject their offer, and they decide to try and board us. That's okay. They say we will, re we will regret the decision, but I think it will be they who regret the decision, since they have just boarded... A mantis-filled mantis filled cruiser. Mort, get out of there. Mantises, get in there. You're going to go heal yourself up. We are going to turn on our defense drone. Oh, we need one more power bar, so turn on the defense drone now. There we go. To block that Lido missile. The rest of their weapons are pretty much irrelevant. The bomb could be dangerous, depending on what kind of bomb it is. But it looks like it's just a small bomb, and it's not targeting empty rooms anyway, so it's not a big deal. So these guys are going to go down momentarily. Oh, no, they might have gotten away there. Not one died. Okay, that's good enough. We will get into the med bay and heal ourselves at max speed. Declan, get in that helm. We need them dodges. Alright, looking good. They targeted an empty room again. That's what we like to see. They have no med bay, so that mantis can't recover. That's also very nice. And we're going to board them momentarily, hopefully before they manage to do any real damage with those small bombs. There we go, and here we go. Jump into the weapons room, kill that guy. And they bombed us in the weapons, which is fine, because we have two spare layers in there anyway. And these guys are going to die extra quick, because the Zoltan has very little health. So he's going to be gone momentarily. And the hitting the shields. Come on, drone, do your job. Oh well, at least it's not very damaging. There are no more life signs remaining on the ship, so we strip it of materials, getting three fuel, a missile, and 41 scrap. Looking good. Teleport back on board there, guys. And uh, get repairing, I think. We only actually took one damage there from that Lido missile that hit us. The bombs aren't really much of a big deal, though, because... We don't really have any need of any of those systems. If they had a med bay, it would be a slightly different situation, but as it stands, it's not a big deal. Oh, guys. The fact that we're getting mantises who are skilled in repair is a very sad, sad thing. <laughs> that means that something else on our ship is seriously lacking. The number of NG we have being a key factor there. Alright, so we're going to keep moving here. We have 53 scraps, so what are we going to spend some of this on? Probably one more power bar would be a good idea. Yeah. That way we can actually run our both of our weapons if we want, or our drones in a weapon, or, you know, that kind of thing, without having to salvage power away from somewhere else. Of course, we do have a fully powered med bay for some reason, because I'm crazy. Okay, that'll do. That way, if we need the med bay on, we can get it on. And Distress Beacon it is. Here we go. What do we have over here? Hopefully some good stuff. What do we have? What do we have? What do we have? We'd arrive at the Distress Beacon near a small asteroid belt and find a ship with pirate markings partially crushed between two large rocks. They must have been illegally mining the belt without proper equipment, so we're going to try and save them, because we actually have weapons now. Just watch it fails this time. We fire a few volleys into the rock, and it starts to shudder and break apart. Without shields, the pirate ship takes a beating, but eventually pulls free. They thank us for our assistance. We get three fuel, two missiles, and 25 scrap. Well, that's okay. We managed to continue in our tradition of actually saving the person, even though this time we actually have weapons, which makes it a little bit more reasonable. What do we want to do with our money? We could probably upgrade our teleporter and our med bay again, just for kicks, but I'm not sure if that's the best strategy. I'm really, honestly, though, we have so much so much opportunity here to do weird things, we probably should take advantage of it. Let's jump over here and see if there's anything at this beacon. It looks like nothing, but we'll see what happens when we arrive. Aha! 
We arrived to find a small research station putting out a distress signal. There's no response to our hails. Well, I'd love to go in and investigate, but we're going to have to leave it alone, because I don't, really want, I don't really want to risk losing any of these crew. They're quite good at what I need them to do, so we'll stick around with them. Sorry there, gentlemen, I can't help whatever's on that station. What is it? This beacon. And it's a sun! This is the worst! This is the worst, the worst, the worst! This beacon has been placed too close to a supergiant Class M star. The ship will gradually overheat until we get out of here or die. A pirate, oblivious to the danger of the sun, moves in to engage. On the plus side, we have a level 4 shield, so the sun shouldn't hit us too hard. But on the other side, it's the sun. And we're at it. <laughs> Meaning this is a bad place to be. They have a halberd beam and a burst laser mark 2, which means they can't hurt us. Unless our sun catches our shields on fire. But we should be safe. Should being the key word there. And we're just going to teleport in, I think. There's not really anything else we can do. Let's just jump in there and start fighting these guys. It looks like no one's going to come and help this Mantis, which means we might be able to kill him before he gets out. He does move quite fast. Oh, we got him. Fantastic. There's one guy down already. That's what we'd like to see. Solar Flare is imminent. We're going to try and knock out their shields right before it hits. Awesome. We did take some fire, but... I think they did as well, and there's only one Mantis left in their med bay, so we're going to rush him. See if we can't kill him in the med bay, which would be very nice. Yes, he's dead. That's one of the great things. And another hull laser! <laughs> we find a weapon system on their ship with no crew to stop us. We install it on our own, get a 29 scrap, and another hull smasher laser. Alright, guys, we're going to have to get... Oh my goodness, those fires are spreading quick. <laughs> oh boy. Okay, you're going to get in there and start putting out that fire there. Teleport back on board. Alright, more fires are going to be hitting. Oh, there's no one in the helm, which means Declan's going to have to run in there, into the helm. Heal yourselves, gentlemen. Get in the med bay and heal. This could be really bad. It looks like we're not really on fire at the moment, but I'm going to have to send a scout mantis to check. There's a fire there. Okay, so we open that door. Are there any other fires in neutral rooms? That fire has gone out, which is good, so we can close those doors. Our jump is ready, so we're going to jump out of here before anything else happens. Is there a fire in here? Yes, there is. I wrote a fire in there. No. Okay. So, we, our guys are fully healed, more or less. Once our radar is back online, we're going to hang out here as long as we can, because if we can get out of here safely before another fire hits, we are, should take advantage of that. Oh, no. Fire's coming. So we're going to be jumping out of here right about now to the quest beacon. Hopefully there's good stuff here and nothing trying to kill us. What do we get? What do we get? What do we get? The ship we were escorting thanks us. I don't think we could have made it without your help. Let my friends patch up some of your hull and show you their wares. We don't need, really need the repair. <gasps> Weapon pre-igniter! I have to buy this. I have to. What can I sell to buy this? I have to buy it. I never get one of these. We can sell the boarding drone and the system repair drone and maybe one of our lasers to get that thing. We need it so badly though. We could sell maybe the, one of the Hull Smasher... I don't know. We have so many things here. We can get this. We have to get this. A weapon pre-igniter. Oh, yeah, baby. Uh-huh. Hmm. Well, first, I'm going to look at that in a second. I think I can leave this menu, I hope. There's a little store menu there. Um, well, okay. If we sell the boarding drone, that'll give us 112. I think. Yeah, because it'll give us 112 scrap. And then we can sell the system repair drone, and that'll give us... Uh, 127, which is enough to buy this, which is awesome. Long-range scanners are also quite nice. We could also sell the Mantis pheromones. That's not really very good. Yeah, you know, sell the Mantis pheromones because I don't think they do anything. There's no quests that give you. Uh, there's no blue events that give you anything for the Mantis pheromones. I don't think. And I mean, slightly move, slightly higher movement speed on your own ship is not a big deal. So we'll sell the Mantis pheromones. That gives us 102 scrap. We sell the boarding drone. That gives us 137 scrap. That means we can come in here and buy a weapon pre-igniter. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Okay. And we have 17 scrap. If we also sell our drone, we could also get, like, a system repair drone. We could also get long-range scanners, which would be nice as well. Or we could sell one of our weapons. But I think it would be silly to sell our weapons, and we just bought a pre-igniter to make use of the fact that we have more weapons. Um... Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Having that ability to see what we're getting into would be quite nice, though. So I think we're going to do it. We'll sell our system repair drone. I should have been... Yeah, I didn't, I couldn't use him before. Sell the system repair drone. Set the hull repair drone in the slot. Buy the long-range scanners for that ability to actually see where we're going. Now we are in good shape. Oh, boy. This is awesome. 
Put out those fires, you silly mantises. I know that you're absolutely terrible at doing that, but do it anyway. Does that actually give them repair skill? I'm not sure if it does. He's at 7, and he's at 4. When that fire eventually goes out, eventually... Do they have higher? He has 7. He has 4. So no, you don't get extra repair skill from putting out fires, unfortunately. But that's okay. We have a weapon pre-igniter and long-range scanners now, so I really have no reason to complain. This is awesome. Alright, Mort, you're going back in the helm. Declan's going to come grab some quick heals. He has a tiny bit of damage there. And mm, he's going back down to the engines. Excellent. He actually has zero engine skill. Really? That's weird. Does Mort have zero helm skill? He does. We haven't dodged a single thing since they put them on those rolls. <laughs> well done, guys. That's terrible. Okay. So, weapons online. Oh, baby. Now, do we want to have both of our hull lasers or the hull laser and the hull missile? That's a question. If we can get up to level 6 weapons, then we'll be set. But, for now, we'll have to make do with this indecision. We can come over there and fight someone and work our way back around over here. Uh, sure. We'll get a guaranteed fight. That's always nice. What is here? We find a Zoltan ship, yeah. With two missile weapons, wow. An especially well-armed pirate ship approaches us, saying, Hand over one of your crew members, and the rest of you can go free unharmed. Well, we could draw straws and send a crew member over to the slavers, but that would be stupid. So we're not going to surrender one of our crew to slavers, you crazy people. They have a bunch of guys, though, so we're going to be turning our defense drone online. Yes, indeed. Go, 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 go. We're also going to be hull lasering them quick. We won't do a whole ton of damage. We'll hull missile them as well, just to get a little bit more damage done. They do have a med bay, but they only have an NG and a human, so we should be able to tank them out pretty easily. And we will hull laser them one more time there. Please miss us with those missiles. You didn't... Oh, you actually hit it! I'm a... What? Uh, <laughs> I was amazed that first one actually got blocked. It got so far into our ship before we bothered to shoot it. And that second one would have hit us if it hadn't missed. Alright, so it's time to board now, gentlemen. We're boarding into this empty room. They're going to come to us. We can kill them that way. Please shoot that down. Excellent. Please shoot this one down as well. You missed. It hit an empty room, though, so I can't really complain. We'll send these two mantises in to go kill the human in the med bay. Hopefully before the other guy goes in. No, not before the other guy goes in. Alright, get out of there. I can't rush them out if they're not going to let me rush them out. This guy should die before he gets away, though. No, not quite. This is unfortunate. Okay, we're going to hull missile them in the med bay. There we go. That should kill the NG as well. Yes, it did. Please block these missiles. Excellent. You're doing a pretty good job there, drone. We scan the ship and detect no life signs. It appears the slaves all died in the fight. We ship the ship and prepare to jump, getting a missile of drone part in 46 scrap. Strange that they would have all died in the fight. I guess they were hiding all of their slaves in their med bay? Because that's the only thing we actually attacked. Alright, defense drone offline. Looking pretty solid here. This is a pretty amazing ship right now. It's kicking butt. Alright, what we need to do is just upgrade this bring our second hull laser online, and we have the potential to do a ton of hull damage. Actually, this is a very unique thing. I have never had an entire arsenal of hull weapons. Never. I've only ever had, like, one on my ship, because I don't particularly like them because of their dependence on hitting empty rooms to do full damage, but that's just weird. Scans reveal a large asteroid field nearby. With short-range scanners, we might find useful materials while we wait for FTL to recharge. Well, we have full health, so there's no reason to not take the risk and explore the asteroid field. Of course, we do get damaged, but that's okay. The asteroid field proved more than dangerous, more dangerous than we'd expected. Some asteroids got through our defenses. But that's okay, we have hull repair drones. Activate. Give us back to full power. He probably won't do that, but we'll see how many repairs we get out of him. There's another two. If you teleport while he's still flying around, you do recover the, the hull repair drone. So you can get, like, two free repair every beacon if you have a, a drone recovery arm and a hull repair drone. Because you just jump before he disappears, which is after two, always before two repair. And you're guaranteed to get the drone back. So that's pretty cool. Every beacon you can get two free repair if you have a hull repair drone and a drone recovery arm. I thought there was a way to do it before. That's how it is. That's how it works. So, I have more jumps here until we get to the exit. So let's check out this distress beacon. Is there anything here? There's a ship without life forms nearby and a dense asteroid field giving off the distress call. We could investigate and it might be dangerous. Well, let's give a look. We search for the ship. We find the decaying remains of some kind of ship coated with ice or crystal. We send some crew aboard to explore, and nearly everything is either destroyed or unidentifiable. But one of the weapons appears salvageable, and there's a strange stasis pod that catches our eye. Well, it looks like a massive asteroid is in a direct collision course with the derelict ship. We have to pull our crew out, but they want to grab what they can first. What do they take? And here's a question. What do they take? We can take the weapon and some scrap, or we can take the stasis chamber, which has the chance of being upgraded into... Hmm, rather, A, uh, 
crystal crew. And a crystal crew would make a great complement to our three mantis crew because we can lock people in the room and just murderify them. But the thing is, I guess that's probably the best option. We have a whole bunch of green sectors ahead, so the odds of actually finding a place that let us thaw out our crystal are pretty high. And we already have a complement of weapons. They're not amazing weapons, but we already have three weapons, which fills our weapon slots. So we might as well grab the stasis chamber for now and hope we get the crystal crew, and that will fill out our boarding party. Yeah, I guess that's a pretty reasonable thing. We'll grab the stasis chamber. We, gr we drag the pod back to our ship before the asteroid smashes into the ship, shattering through the crystal coating and destroying it entirely. The pod appears to be functioning, but we see nothing but shards of crystal inside. Perhaps someone will know how to open it. We get 17 scrap and a damaged stasis pod. Excellent. That fills out our augment slots. Good thing we sold our mantis pheromones, otherwise we would have had to get rid of them just now. And... Okay. If we can find ourselves somewhere to thaw that guy out, we'll be in pretty darn good shape. One, two... We could get a bunch of extra jumps, but that'll mean having to fight people at the exit again. Not that that's really a problem. We could even jump to the exit now and then work our way around. There appears to be not a whole lot of fights in the area. Let's go check out what the exit has to offer, and then we'll look around a little bit. What do we have here? We went at the Long Range Beacon, we discover a ship refueling station. We could purchase fuel for cheap here. Six fuel for 12 scrap is an amazing deal, so we're going to take advantage of that. Thank you for the business there, gentlemen. We have some distress beacons and whatnot over here, so we're going to go check them out. We should be able to get at least two more jumps in before we have to go back to the exit. So we'll take advantage of those and then get out of here. What do we have at this beacon? Ha <laughs> ha! I knew someone would fall into our dastardly trap! It appears this distress beacon was nothing but a decoy for a pirate ambush! Da da da! However, they don't... Oh wow, they actually have pretty decent weapons. Not enough to get through our shields, though. Two basic lasers and a hollow laser. I mean, a heavy laser. Can't get through four bubbles. But the breach missile is a little bit scary. So what we're going to do is we're going to turn on the defense drone, and we're also going to teleport over there and murder their faces. Because they have three non, non-combat, really, crew, and no med bay. So they're going to die nice and quick. And we could shoot them, but I'm not even going to bother with that. They can't hurt us anyway. They can't do a darn thing to us. And there go all of their crew. Hopefully before the breach missile even gets a chance to fire. Yes, it does. No shots from the breach missile. I guess we wasted that drone, but that's okay. There are no more life signs detected on the ship, so we strip it of useful material, getting a fuel drone part and 49 scrap. Looking good there, gentlemen. Looking good. The world's fastest slow mantis. All right, power up the med bay. These guys are getting close to all being tier 3 combat, which is pretty darn good. Get them down into that teleporter. 102 scrap is nice. We're almost at the point where we can afford to buy our level 6 weapon control. We don't have the power for it quite yet, but that's okay. So, let's jump again to this beacon, I suppose. Actually, if we go... Hmm, if we go... Hmm... <laughs> I'm not sure. One, two, we get there after? I don't know. I don't know. We'll jump over here first. Do -do -do. Do -do -do -do. Fight us! As we jump into the system, a pirate advances on our position and are refusing all hails. We have to prepare to fight. Alright, then they have some more combat -y crew. They have an Ion Blast 2 and a Pike Beam, which could theoretically be dangerous if they hit us a million times with them. But they have no Med Bay either, so they're going to go down as well. The only potential danger here is that their Mantis is a really good fighter. But it looks like he's... No, he's holding his pace there with Slowpoke pretty well. Uh, getting a bit worried. All right, we're going to swap places with him and Laggard, because he should be able to take out that rock man, no problem. Or can he? He's going to be losing the fight against a rock man. You suck, dude. Okay, there you go. You beat him with five health to spare. That was dangerous. And again, there are no more life signs detected on the ship, so he's stripped of use material, getting a missile, a drone part, another 46 scrap. Well, can't complain about that. Some nice rewards we're getting here. Power up that med bay. Heal our crew. 148 scrap means we can afford to buy level 6 weapon control, which means we can now be auto-firing our hull lasers if we feel like it. We'll turn off the med bay constantly so we can have them ready at the start. Now we have all three of our weapons pre-ignited, pre-ignitioned, which is like a 16 second charge time, 14 seconds, 17 seconds that we get to skip. That's pretty darn good. That's a lot of firepower that we can bring to bear right at the very beginning. Let's jump over here to this fight, and then we'll jump out to the exit and get out of here. Upon completing our jump, we receive a message from a nearby ship saying, Greetings and welcome to our beacon. For a small fee, we'll let you continue on your way. But we're going to reject that paltry offer. 20 scrap is not the... <laughs> they say we'll regret the decision, but I think it'll be they who regret the decision. We're going to teleport aboard before they can teleport on us. Hello there, guys. They do have breach missiles, but their lasers are not dangerous because they only have a dual laser and a basic laser, which can't get through level 4 shields. Level 4 shields are ridiculous this early in the game. They're just overkill. 
and they're all dead before they get a chance to fire the breach missile or even one of their lasers more than once. There are no more life signs remaining on the ship yet again, so we get three fuel, two missiles, and 41 scrap. Yay, free things! Alright. Speedrunning these fights, and this is exactly what I was hoping for. This is why I wanted this ship. Because the ability to rush in there with four mantis and just murder everyone you see really helps you not take a lot of hits. And the fact that you get extra money from the very beginning of the game by doing boarding strategies means you get a lot of extra resources. Let's get out of here. We're going to jump down to the exit and hope for the best. Probably we're going to take some damage here, but that's okay. We have plenty of hull to spare. What do they have? They got missiles, they got bombs, they got lasers, and they got beams. We found the exit beacon, but the rebels got here first. We'll have to survive long enough to jump to the next sector. But you know what? That shouldn't be too hard to do. We're going to fire an auto-fire laser blast right into that... Med bay, we missed a bunch of shots, that's okay. How about a missile? Take one of those, please. There we go, damage done. We're gonna jump in there now, fight us, and we're gonna send two of our mantis into the med bay now, which should prevent them from repairing it. Of course, they are trying to attack us. Defense drone, you need to be online right about now. So I'm gonna turn off one of our hull lasers so the defense drone can be online to block that missile. Thank you very much. That makes him a lot less dangerous. We're gonna run this mantis around the ship for a little bit so that he doesn't get hit by anything that he shouldn't be getting hit by. We did take a hit in the engines, which is not good. That bomb had nice placement. Their guys are going to die nice and quick, taking some damage there in the med bay. If we can kill them before they fire another bomb, that would be great, but I have a feeling that's not quite going to happen. Here comes another bomb in the weapons, but that's okay. We don't really need that room at the moment. We can vent out the fire as well, and down go their boarding party. There's no time to salvage enemy ship. We get one fuel, but we have to jump away so we don't get anything else, which is unfortunate, but to be expected. All right, guys. We're going to teleport out of there. Declan took some nasty damage there, too. Wow. All right, heal up our crew in the med bay. Please go out, fire. Thank you. All right, close those doors. Get our oxygen coming back in. And once the oxygen actually opens up, opening those doors will help speed up the process, we can send Mort in to go start the repairs. We'll send a whole bunch of mantis to help him out, and Declan can go heal himself up. Okay, looking pretty good here. Things are getting back the way we want them. We'll send our crew into the teleporter, Declan down to the engines. Okay, we have a pretty effective ship here, I have to say. We can use a couple more crew, that'll make it extra nice. But what we have, we can definitely make do with. 64 scrap is also quite nice. We can use that to buy two more power bars, meaning we can permanently run our hull laser and have spare power for wherever we need it, which is fantastic. This is a powerful little ship now. Now let's see what our jumping options are. We can go to a civilian sector or the Zoltan homeworlds. Well, despite the fact that Zoltan aren't really our favorite enemies to fight, we're pretty well equipped to fight them now. So we're going to go to the Zoltan homeworlds because that's much better than a civilian sector in any sense of the, uh, of, of the word. It gives us a better chance of finding a place to thaw out our crystal. It's going to have more people we can easily jump into and murder once we get those Zoltan shields down. And civilian sectors are just boring anyway, so Zoltan homeworlds it is. Here we are. Da -da -da, da -da -da. We've entered Zoltan territory. This species is not renowned for giving anything for nothing, but we can always be assured a fair hearing. However, in order to see what happens next in this adventure, you're going to have to tune in next time, because for this episode, we're going to be happy ending for here. That was a terrible sentence, but that's okay. This has been Vanguard of Valor, playing another episode of FTL for you here on board the VSS Sloth. Ooh, part of our engine failure challenge run, which has been going phenomenally well so far, I'm surprised. <laughs> anyway, if you've liked the episode, don't forget to like the episode. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye bye